Last time in Dorkin. We're recovering from the fight against Stofo and the animated suits of armor down in the Necropolis. Downs War decided to leave the Necropolis and meet up with Espen back at the Kurowski Manor, as he was still waiting for Dame Winifred, the somewhat famous Albert Knight of Everdure, to turn up at the <laughs> estate. I remember well. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> However, when the party was walking through a narrow alley, they were knocked out by some gas. Yeah. Several hours passes, and Davry and Brambling woke up inside a cramped prison cell, unarmed and no other people in sight. Nevertheless, they escaped their confinements and began to explore the surroundings, eventually learning that the dungeon was occupied by Uantes, a race for to be extinct in Triangle. Following a staircase down, the duo found Jace, who was mere moments away from being transformed into a Yoanti by a woman with a lower body of a snake, a fate that the local diviner in Mira did not escape. Upon saving Jace and defeating the serpentine foes, the party discovered that the snake woman was holding the voices of the Trinity Echo, which had been used to transform in Mira. The voice of the Trinity Echo is this grimoire stolen <laughs> from the Akan University. Very well. Back on the previous floor, the party not only located their equipment, but also a torture chamber where both Espen and Kenor, Kurowski's manservant, were held captive by a whip and sword wielding Yoanti. Hmm. They defeated the captive and then freed the victims, and the party continued upstairs where they momentarily were blocked by a puzzle like lock. <laughs> After After locating Spark and Panda inside a room filled with swarms of snake, the party finally located Fenian. To the horror, he was placed upon a stone step, paralyzed by Mayor Logan Powell, who was in the mis- uh, process, of, uh, process of eating part of the monk's chest. Yum, yum, yum. Average Saturday morning. <laughs> Do we have a monk? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, before they could kill the mayor, however, he revealed himself to be a Yuanti Madison, which is a kind of uh, a Yuanti, and he fled using his shadow to transport himself away to the shadow film, this other dimension or realm of existence, and also some like group of Yuanti guards. After the fight, with only one of the guards surviving, uh, Bramlin used the soon-to-be signature-to-move charm person on, on the survivor, and she happily revealed that she was one Snowman, a local prostitute who had been transformed into a Yuanti as part of Mayor Logan, uh, Mayor Logan's plan to revive the Yuanti race. She also told the party, mere moments before David uh, decided to chop her head off, <laughs> that uh, Mayor Logan was in fact uh, a Yuanti named Heskan Ashenbreath. I think I wrote that down. You wrote that down? So, cool. Yes. A couple of days has passed since then, uh, allowing you all to recover from your harrowing experience. And during this time, uh, a new mayor has been uh, elected, or rather the deputy mayor has been elevated. uh, uh, A man named Sir Richard Greatlaw, uh, a member of the Brotherhood of Blades, uh, which is this mercenary group. And you have just received letters uh, from the mayor himself that he would like to see you, as well as uh, revealing that uh, Headmaster G. Jack from the Arcana University is also there to reward you for retrieving the Grimoire. That old elemental order, list. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Order of the what now? The Brotherhood of Blades. Uh, okay, well, that's all wrong. No, Brotherhood of the Brotherhood of the Blades. Brother, brotherhood <laughs> of Order. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the blades of order. Yep. Yes. The blades of order. The blower. And my first one in the big gang was to do the test. What? Test. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, need to, I need to get into the act. Um, you think you're so rich and so Scottish, Scrooge. <laughs> well, I'm wearing a kilt. A kilt! I'm good. <laughs> yeah. But I'm wearing a kilt, Macduff. I'm wearing a kilt! It's pretty good. Yeah, we have to see another first episode. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Tales. Dr. Tales. Uh, yeah. I killed. <laughs> I killed. <laughs> I killed Macduff. 
Macduff. <laughs> no, not Macduff. <laughs> As you see, Macduff. That's the one. Right, yeah. Macduff is someone else. Uh, that's. Oh, he's he's the guy who was from his mother's womb and died. Right. She play, man. She play. Reasons enough. Hamlet is completely out of control. <laughs> <laughs> right, so mayor's office and also the headmaster. Yeah, uh, he's flaming. Yeah. Oh, by the way, how am I doing on time now? Uh, it is the uh, twenty-five DJ. of Frosten, so four days left. DJ. Shite. DJ. DJ. Need to get this chest wound healed. <laughs> DJ Fireface. <laughs> DJ Fireface. That's his. That's his nephew. <laughs> ah, okay. That's a very huge disappointment to the <laughs> Playing burning beats and <laughs> His beats are literal fire. Mm-hmm. Right, so. Well, should we go to the. Uh, we've been summoned to the mayor's office, which I, I remember well from having been in this. Uh, Thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thanks. We go to the mayor's office. Uh, well, uh, you arrive at the mayor's office. There are a couple of guards situated around the place. Some of them are new faces. You believe they might be previous members of the Brotherhood of Blades that have been. Chosen as his personal guards. Ah, yeah. Nepotism. Yeah. Great. And uh, one on the mayor. <laughs> and you are met by an uh, elderly woman in a maid's uniform. Uh, she introduced herself as Joanna. Uh, greetings. Uh, the mayor would like to see you in his office. Please, your follow honor. me this way. I'm your, sure he will. Your, on, your honor what? Your honor Hardwood. Okay, so her, her honor. No, no, your honor. <laughs> What? I think I think is, is she called Your Anna? <laughs> uh, Anna. She's, she's called Your Anna. Oh, like Joanna, <laughs> but like pronounced yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah okay. Why is the old George R. R. Martin trick? Your Anna. Your Anna. What? Hardwood. Hard, hard. <laughs> Wait, hard or hard? It doesn't matter. A R D. Don't think this this will come up. Hard <laughs> right. Cool. Please. This way, sir. And she, she, she leads inside and upstairs towards mm-hmm. the office, where you see two people inside uh, already. You see uh, Master Headmaster D Jack, this uh, old uh, 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 fire genocide uh, with uh, flaming hair, and a blue rope uh, on him. And by his side is a large uh, catfolk. These uh, mm. uh, resembling a lion. And you take it, this must be the new mayor, Sir Richard Greyclaw. Um, oh, Greyclaw. Should have seen, should have guessed. <laughs> ah, the House of War. It's good to see you. Fine then, fine job. Thank you, thank you. Well, man. Thank you. quite proud of it myself, if I must say. All the all the things I've been doing lately, it's... Uh, it's Indeed. It's been, been, <laughs> I've been doing well. I'm not going to pretend anything. I did nearly die after all. She didn't ah, nothing well, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> That's the important part. <laughs> right, so you have the book. Yes, yes. <laughs> you have, uh, I, I do. Yes, the Trinity Echo. Here it is. Not a copy that I'm. Not a forgery that I made. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ought. You're, you're doing the whole thing. Oh, great. Ah, shit. Uh, and and headmaster DJ confusing me. <laughs> Hands out towards the book and. Takes it from your hand unless you would like try to. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need it because it's the Trinity, Trinity Echo. Thank you so much. You have done this city a great service. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that it's not a copy that I've made. Like that would be something that I would do. Like that will build into kind of my personality to make a forgery of a powerful book. But I haven't done that in this case. That's what I'm saying. No one was suspecting you that you were. Well, I would. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's still aware. If uh, Headmaster Jack apparently is unfazed by this. No, okay, <laughs> great, great, cool. Um, and he says, uh, I wanted to reward you for this uh, job. Uh, I have retrieved some of my uh, items from my medical inventory. However, I was unsure what might aid you best in your quest. Tickets. So. Do you happen to have a... Uh, uh, and the mayor's like, don't worry, we'll get to that. And, um, so Airship time. I, Te- teleportation would also I be great. I would thing. like you to Ink. pick one of the items I present to you. And uh, from he, he can pulls up one of his sleeves and you can see he's holding three items that start to grow in size. That mm-hmm. Apparently he's magically reduced them. Oh. Um, and you, you see uh, what appears to be some sort of pearl. 
uh, giving off a magical energy. A pair of uh, gauntlets where there are these yelling ogres on top at the, the brim. Mm-hmm. And finally, um, a, a jock with runes uh, scribed onto the sides of it. Right, so... Is it one for each? Uh, so uh, yeah, no, I will Eight grant seven. you one of these items. Oh. I, I assume you're going to tell us what they are. <laughs> of course. Uh, this is a pearl of power. Uh, it allows uh, oh, a magic oh, ruler oh, to empower his uh, spells through it. Hmm. And th- these are gauntlets of ogre power, which grants the wielder the power of an ogre. Hmm. Quite like explanatory for the. Uh, being and finally, <laughs> this is an alchemy jog, allowing you to produce <laughs> various liquids <laughs> such as water, ale, or marinades. <laughs> and that is actually the term. Yes. Yep. Water, ale, or marinades. I remember that. <laughs> oh, d d truly is the widest game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in, uh, uh, speaking of in game, in game terms, uh, Pearl of Power. You can use an action to speak a command word and gain one expense spell slot. Uh, if the expense spell slot was fourth level or higher, the new slot is third level. Yeah. yeah, okay. And you can not, once you've done this, you cannot use it until the next door. Uh, the Gondis of Ogre Power, they grant you a base strength of 19. Ooh. Of 19? Indeed. Well, that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> Oh no! The link I used for the alchemy job is gone. No. I think we can all figure it out. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I can call uh, how much liquid you can produce, but just like a like m- like finite. Uh, assumingly, a jugful. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, okay. as the resident wizard, uh, I have some opinions regarding these magical items. First yeah. of all, I shit pearls of power every morning. Like that's <laughs> complete bonkers. Nineteen strength is all right, but like people who use strength. Are you kind of, and sort of sorted like, on that one? I'm pretty strong myself. So. Exactly. But then, alchemy joke. And I think most importantly, the comedic value <laughs> of like the a, alchemy joke just for, for, is on tour. For just shits and giggle purposes, uh-huh. we definitely need the alchemy joke. Yeah, but joke. but to, to, to be fair, are we a traveling group of adventurers or are we a comedic troupe? And, Sometimes. And, and, and it's like, well, you can produce alcohol. I'm in. There we go. Can it produce healing potions? No. no. But can it produce yeah. something that we will then alchemy into healing potions? Nope. Well, well oh, no, actually, maybe. Maybe. Wait, what, is, there, is there a comprehensive list of every single yeah. thing that you can get out of that? Because maybe some of it would be like, like acid. Vine- vine- vinegar, I believe. Uh, oh, that's very smart if we have to, like, if there's like a... a, a a uh, a chalk golem that I, we can just pour in and then it's the like second link to the album joke is why is mayo in the album joke? <laughs> <laughs> that's an that's a that's a chemical, right? It just I like the idea. How long does it take for it to make the thing? Do just go, and then there's yes, it's yeah. magic. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think yeah, it's important to remember that mayonnaise is of course on the periodic table. <laughs> yeah, <somewhere>. yeah. <laughs> I think it's right after bor uh, borise. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Borium. Um, I, I 100% alchemy jug. I'm, but, I mean, uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm in not favor the, of the alchemy but jug I, as well. I, I, do, I do see that something like the Pearl of Power, I'm not interested in that, but there are other magic users who... Sparks, my friend, we uh, we wouldn't get much out of the Ogre Strength as it is, anyway. Uh, I couldn't care less. He couldn't care less. He's, he's got basically Ogre Strength already. Mm. Um, yeah, I no, guess it's I'm, I'm pretty strong. Yeah. And Jay says, well, I only use spells, so... so wait, Chase, do you want the Pearl of Power? Seeing as you have nah, I'll, no I'll spells. Go the, I'll go along with the group on this. Uh, All right. Wait, cool. how would... Wait, so how was the... What were the, what were the rules for um, for the Pearl of Power again? Just say that again. Uh, the Pearl of Power allows you to gain one spell slot. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you... It's about fourth level or higher, then you can only get to a third level spell slot per gained. Okay. Okay. So it's it's actually would be quite useful for Jace because he has yeah. no spell slots. But it's yeah. li- it's 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 
but progressively yeah. less useful. Though. And it's only one one time use. Right, probably. but then now Jace as being a warlock, and we're talking about spell slots as if it's how yeah. we speak about magic. But okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. but being a warlock, there will be a point of time where he no longer has third level spell slots yeah. at all. So how would that work for him? Not at all. Nothing happens. Assuming if he, he can't get to regain his spell slots like that he hasn't expended. Right, but his spell slots keep on going up. He does. He gets a low amount, but they're all at the highest possible oh, level. Oh, so yeah. Or, or fifth level or something. I think it maxes out there. Yeah. yeah. yeah it, it, it so, so if he used the power of power and he can't have a third level spell slot, then what happens? Nothing? Or does he get that fifth level, sweet, sweet fifth level spell slot? I think he would get a third level. Yeah. And I believe he would, again, in the States, the new slot is third level. Yeah. yeah. So he would get... He would get Right, okay, can, you, can I just borrow the... Now we're just yeah. getting technical. Uh, so I'll drop the accent um, <laughs> for a second. Because if you look yes. at the... Motherfucking warlock. Oh, yeah, that's, no, that's not weird. No. Could be an idea. Um, because his spell slots are all yeah, weird. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. thing, isn't it? Because at oh, some right. point... At 7th level... Can we appraise... He only has... He has two spell slots, but they're both 4th level. Worth yeah. yeah. Cool. So we can get the third level spell you slot in that, that. If you had, to I guess he would. Buy these I guess items? he would. But I mean, then it's hard to buy magic I mean, items. No, 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 no matter what, it becomes selling. progressively less useful. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Oh, third level spell slot is still powerful. powerful. Spell I mean, that's that's a fireball. I mean, yeah. Like I think I think there's it's going to be a real long time before third level spell slot isn't helpful. That's my point. Um, I but I still say I can joke. Yeah. I mean, it's good for bribing purposes as well. Bribe them with with like unlimited mayonnaise. Well, it's not unlimited. Okay. I mean, they don't phenomenal cosmic almost unlimited the mayonnaise. Yeah, okay. <laughs> would such a job be banned in taverns? I think it would, presumably. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to figure it out. Um, we can't bring that in here. Can't bring that in here. That's a magical act. That's what you're talking about, MC One. <laughs> Which you have? I don't know why he's talking like this. Mm. He's a salesman, apparently. Basically, from what I can tell, it says up to the DM. Uh, yeah. You cool. wouldn't a river. have a tongue of a red dragon, would you? I mean, just just <laughs> lying around. No, not, not that, to my knowledge, at least. Oh. Um, You'd probably know. <laughs> well, I have the heart of a fire element, so I should probably write that down somewhere. So did you pick the job? Yes, let's, oh, maybe, let's go. Let's man standing. Let's uh, go. No, hey, but, but, um, okay, so do, being, in, being in Arkane University, do you have access to sort of teleportation? <clears throat> um, yeah, it's hard with the mist being placed, but yeah, sometimes we can teleport people from various cities. Like, say, from here to Abajan? We can just go on horse. Uh, the distance would probably be too great. Wait, what? <laughs> What's the point of teleport if it's... Ah, oh, never mind. Um, okay. Is, can you get us closer? Yes, but I believe the mayor has some plans for... Right, but control. can we not do those plans and instead yeah, just do the teleport? No, okay, fine, uh, fine. I, I, just... I, I'll have to look into it, of course. Mm. Here's, the, here's, the, here's the thing where I'm doing. Uh, from what I remember of this dude, uh, he kind of uh, has a tendency to work like incredibly slowly. So. Oh, that's true. So we might actually be in Evergen before we figure out how to get us to Evergen. We're being rude. <laughs> oh, uh, no, 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 we'll we, take the alchemy jug and we'll uh, like it. We'll, we'll, we will. We can't do it. And as Justin says, oh, I almost forgot. Please, I found some information regarding Evergen. Oh, and he has his chicken with a chicken hand. Uh, 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 don't ever, ever it's carry all, a tray of tea. It's all singed. Um, <laughs> indeed, there, there are three pages. Uh, Yes. Corroded by time and what appears to be fire. <laughs> and fire. <laughs> Corroded by time and fire. Uh Read it on your own time. Right. <laughs> um, so let's take the jug and we do we uh, pretend we didn't hesitate for a second. And then um Yes. Thank you very much. This will uh, this will come in handy. Who's bag of holding? Bag of holding. I mean, we won't spill, we won't spill. Everything we draw here will be covered in mayonnaise. Uh, uh, goodbye! So, yeah, Mr. Uh, Mayor, Headmaster DJ starts to walk out, unless you want to. Yeah. 
Top of no, no, I'm good. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and, nah. and then the mayor says, Ah, but we also have some business to do, fine men. Yes. Business. He's yes. Um, I've been talking with my accountants and advisors in how we can <laughs> okay. best possibly reward you for what you have done uh, this uh, these couple of days. Stopping a golem, finding the Trinity Echo, stopping a madman from turning the people into snakes. <laughs> um, and uh, so Killing that dangerous lich that we're living in <laughs> your uh, <laughs> uh, crop. No, 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 no. Oh. No, we, but we've heard it. Uh, someone that definitely killed that lich. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, investigating the whole Ezekiel thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so uh, we've decided um, that both the city and my per- I personally will reward you for this. I want to show our appreciation of what you have done. And the city have decided to aid in the foundation of a keep at Evergale, which I've heard of has recently fallen into your hands. Oh, cool. Yes, I have the deep right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the work, the construction should be on its way already at this point and should be finished within a year's time. Okay. Now, time skip. <laughs> Evergale, sort of, t- taxically speaking, is a bit of a shithole. Um, I was thinking maybe if we we thank you though if we get the money might we is there some sort of way where we can install a portal there and then have a personal port uh, personal device that will transport us only to that portal some sort of waypoint thing couldn't we just make a flying fortress instead yes that definitely seems <laughs> easier <laughs> yes no I get no. the best okay so, so so you okay so. You're willing to put money for for the for the our deeds saving the town, sort of. You're willing to put a, a substantial amount of money into constructing a keep, along with uh, Graham Hill and uh, Two Spire. Ah, all right. Oh, that's nice of them. It's a joint effort. Can we can we just have that money? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not a, f- a large sum of money. We have uh, at us at presently. It's uh-huh. a long process. That's why it takes a year. All right. And just thinking, something like an, I don't know, an airship, for example. You were talking about a flying yeah. fortress. But an airship would be like a sort of a small flying fortress. Well, at the end it will cost the same, I believe, so... Could be yeah. done. That would, that would help us a lot more, because we're going to be travelling around a lot looking for dragons and shit. Yeah, but it would still have to be fairly large if we're going to be us seven and horses. What?! We're not flying around with horses. We're not flying around with. But uh, I've bonded with mine. Oh, oh god! Horses are <laughs> d- diamond. Uh, whatever the expression is, a diamond piece? No, diamond dozen. Diamond dozen. That's it. Uh, I th- you, but you just park it somewhere. We'll get it later. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking space pirate. I mean, I mean, space keep would be. Uh, wait, not space. <laughs> air, air keep. Oh god, uh, I'm I'm a dwarf. I don't really understand things that aren't on the ground. Um, then why would, would you be... want? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Would actually be a lot more practical. Although I like the idea of a keep as well. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm certainly not trying to look a gift horse. In the I mean, you just want to park it somewhere. <laughs> I just want to park the gift horse somewhere where we can use it, but not on the on the on the flying airship. If I just cover a piece of paper and start to screw it onto. Airship, yes. Um, that would be pretty baller. Uh, pretty baller. Probably you could theori- an airstrike class. I do yes. think... Uh, and you could theoretically install a, um, a, a teleportation uh, sigil, I think it's called, or a yeah. area on a moving target as well. Oh, that would be cool. yeah, well, it would, would be really still be a ground suit, the, the thing itself. There could yeah. be a lot of sort of beam me up Scotty references going on <laughs> as well, which would be... Scotty. I'm Scotty. You're going to have to be the engineer now? <laughs> yep, but I'm trying to kill something now. Hello, <laughs> 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 <Yeah, laughs> <yeah, yeah>. Captain. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, uh, I'll put forward to the others, yeah, of course. Just, you know, as an idea. Yes. It must be cheaper than constructing an entire keep. Depends on how big the airship is. Well, it doesn't have to be huge. Yes, it does. Because, I mean, it, okay. it, it, it has is. to be huge. I, I, I have I to agree. believe that it will probably have the cost. Ah. Essentially, for a, a 
a medium sized the, the Astronaut class. Mm. I mean, and, this is and, and that's like that's like half a uh, Los Angeles uh, clay, clay, <laughs> clay, 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 <laughs> half that size, roughly. <laughs> I would not accept any answer, but it's at least the size of two. <laughs> so, a, a submarine. Yeah. <gasps> a submarine would also be baller. What? what? What is a submarine? What is a submarine? Oh, <laughs> it's not nothing. It's essentially like a it's like turtle you can live inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dormant thing. <laughs> That's how that works, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, right. I, I might. Mm, I'm seconding uh, Bramdane's idea here because that's. We, it's a bit. A bit far up north, considering that it's indeed, like. Indeed. On top of the yeah. entire continent. Right. <laughs> also. Abigail is severely haunted. <laughs> like, to be fair, super duper Missing. really haunted. But ever since we haunted ever, us, ever, ever since someone killed that lich in the crypt, I don't think. No, the lich in the crypt was a, was completely unrelated to the yeah, Abigail I mean, haunting. But, but ever since that died mysteriously, right? I, I think we would have that. As a I have. Problem. I don't have these notes on me here, but there was. Well, maybe I do. But there was a whole thing about how Abigail was haunted. Cursed, only the dead live there. There was a whole bunch of things, and, and I guess there's a sort of a reclamation aspect, and sort of, um, sort of, kind of making it sort of. What's the word? Well, I actually find the place quite charming. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Only the uh, dead live there. Okay. Just so my kind of. Place. I just. I'm not sure it's a great place for a kid. And also, we we had plans for an attraction or something. Oh there. yeah. Well, that's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ferris <laughs> wheel. Not not a uh, not a Westworld s <laughs> uh, sort of dystopian place where you can go and kill people without consequences. No, not that at all. No, no, no. A Ferris wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I remember. As always, the intro and outro music were by David Zeste, whereas the other pieces were by Kevin McLeod. Links can be found in the description below. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you next time in Dorakin. Dorakin.